this video i'll show you how you can create a hologram in blender first of all delete the default cube now go to the cycle surrender and decrease the sampling to 50 for render and 10 for the preview now again go to the light paths and decrease the maximum bounce value to 8 and minimum to 1 also the transmission to 8 now now we'll create a monkey go to the modifier panel and add a subdivision surface modifier increase the subdivision to 2 and apply the modifier now click on the smooth setting move the monkey along z axis and rotate it along x axis a little bit Speed the window and go to the world setting and click on use node and change the color to pure black. Now select the monkey and go to the node editor. Now create a new material for the monkey. Now delete the diffuse shader and add a transparent shader. Now change the color to light blue. Now add an emission shader. Copy the color by pressing Ctrl C press the color by pressing ctrl v now press alt and right click and drag and drop to mix them together and then connect it to the material output now let's go to the render view now add input layer weight now add a math converter and add the fresnel and facing value and connect the output of math converter to the input of mix adder now decrease the value of blend to 0.15 now duplicate the mix shader and now add a input wireframe click on the pixel size and size to 0.2 now connect the input of emission shader to the mix shader and the input of wireframe to the actor of mix shader now you can see a wireframe now you can see the wireframe on the monkey now duplicate the mix shader again and add a transparent shader make sure that it is fully white now connect the input of transparent shader to the mix shader now let's again duplicate the emission shader and 
and add a volume f job some shader now change the color of volume f job some shader to, to blue now press alt and right click and drag and drop to the emission shader to add a mix shader now connect the output of mix shader to the material output and now in Increase, uh, sorry, decrease the value of em emission shader to 0.5. Now you can see that it looks like hologram. You can increase the value of emission here. Now we will name the material to hologram. Now go to the solid shading mode. Now select the monkey and tab into edit mode. Now press Ctrl 7 to see the bottom face. Now press A to deselect all and C to select some of the faces, bottom faces of the monkey. Now go to the front view. And deselect the unwanted portion. Now press shift T to duplicate it. And P separate the selection now tab out of edit mode now a to deselect all and then select this monkey and hide it now select this portion and then tab into edit mode select all of the vertices and extrude it along z axis now press alt M and add cursor to merge the vertices to the center. Now create uh, now tab out of edit mode and then click on this button to make it a different material. Now edit mode and press Ctrl I for the inverse selection. Now create a new material and click on assign now tab out of edit mode and then split the view into two parts now press alt h to unhide all now select this part and go to the node editor now delete select the first material deselect all and then box select these shaders and then delete them now go to the render setting select the second material and delete diffuse setting now add a transparent shader and connect it to the material output now let's create a plane and scale it now create a cylinder and scale it now 
select the cylinder and, and click on the smooth sliding and add an edge split modifier now go to the node editor and click and create new material for the cylinder now de delete the diffused shader and add a glossy shader now decrease the roughness to 0 and connect the outputs now select the plane and create a new material now select the light and click on the use nodes and increase the value to 200 now duplicate the light and move it along x axis and decrease the value to 100 and change the color to yellowish now select the first light and change the color to blue now just add a text go to the edit mode and type anything you want now extrude it and change the font rotate it along x axis and along z axis now click on the new button to create a new material delete the diffuse shader go to the render setting and create sorry add a transparent node add an emission node and mix them together now change the color to red Sorry, connect the transparent shader to the surface output and add a volume absorption shader. Connect that to the first input of next shader. Change the color. Now go to the solid shading mode. Now select this part. Tab into edit mode. Tab out of edit mode. Now go to the object, transform, origin to 3D cursor, now select the monkey and go to object, transform, origin to 3D cursor, now select this part and this, then this part and press ctrl P to parent them. Now select the monkey go to the first frame and then press i and insert a location rotation scale keyframe now go to the frame number 150 and then put the z rotation value to 360 degree and press i to insert a keyframe now change the end value to of frames to 150 now let's play now select the camera and then press ctrl alt 0 and then lock the camera into view and then just adjust the camera and scale the plane a little bit now select your output folder and click on the animation now open after effect and double click here and import 
and import the rendered images as png sequence now we'll drag and drop this imported file here to make a new composition now go to the effects color correct brightness and contrast then increase the brightness a little bit and also the contrast now go to the color correction and curves and make a contrast curve red channel and decrease the red color go to the blue channel and increase the blue color go to the green channel and also tweak a little bit now create a new solid Now just go to the composition, add to render queue, here select the H264 and click on render. 